Perth Glory, now their third season under Alex Aparkas. Rough first season under him. Brilliant second season, finishing fifth and equal on points with Melbourne Victory in fourth. They played some really exciting football. Really exciting football and shocked a lot of people. Can they shock people again and get into the finals? I really think that they can. You know, this just shows you when a club invests in a coach and they have a long-term plan on what can happen. You know, if you're looking at things ad hoc to try and just, you know, a band-aid fix, it's not going to work. And Perth Glory seen that once they lost Sam Kerr, which was, you know, and obviously Lisa Devana. And there's been some key players that have gone through there. They knew that they needed to rebuild and they needed a new plan. They came into this plan with Alex Aparkas and now he's come into his third season. Last year, he just missed out on final series, which I thought he was quite hard done by. Under tough circumstances as well. Mm. It was. It was definitely tough for them and they've worked really hard over the last couple of seasons. They haven't had it easy. So hopefully this year, a good, steady pre-season, um, playing out of Perth and being in, in normal circumstances, I think that they could possibly go one step further. I agree. So Perth were my favourite team to watch last year, which probably would have shocked people, but they played a really enjoyable style. It wasn't kick and chase. It was quick transition at times. They focused on keeping a ball. They provided excitement when it was watching. Um, you know, they have recruited well with the likes of Riley Baisden. They've uh, re-recruited, obviously, Sophia Sakalis, who got Player of the Year in the MPLW. Yeah, yeah. um, you know, she's come along in leaps and bounds. Mm. And what this club and this team really took last year, it was great to see Lisa Devanna back in her hometown, in all honesty. she You could tell she got frustrated as times on the pitch, but she gave them that quiet leadership behind the, behind the scenes. Until she cared. She she actually did, and she wanted to give back to these young girls who were having it hard done by being, you know, they didn't get to play home last year. It was horrible for them. To finish fifth with the road that they had to take was a mammoth effort and such a great achievement. Playing at home is only going to help them. So for me, I'm really interested to see them really push for finals. Because I was really shocked by them last year. I mean, I called their first game of the season against Brisbane Roar at Perry Park, and I spoke to Alex Aparkas after the game, and he was, it, it was a tough journey for them, tough journey cross country, and they didn't get to play uh, in Perth. A really tough one for them. Now they're at Macedonia Park. It'll be an interesting year for them. It'll be an interesting year for them. How good is Alex at bringing through these young players? It's a young squad. It's a young squad. But can we see those young players take another leap this year? Yeah, of course. You know, look, he's been building on this squad over the last three years. And again, everything that, they were, that they've gone through over the last couple of years, I think it's really shown, um, you know, on the performances on, on the field as well. They've come together closer as, as a team. Um, I think they've built bonds and friendships that, you know, as Riley would know in football, you know, you make these fr friendships that last a lifetime, you know. So these girls have really stuck together. You know, you still got... You know, players on the likes of Susan Fonsonken that's uh, has decided to go back there as well. Um, they've also recruited Ella Maestro Antonio that's come back from Italy and um, that will be playing in that in that team as well, which is a fantastic pick up for them as well. But I think overall they've really built really well and they're continuing to build on the blocks that they have from season one that Alex actually took over. And again, I'll stress that when you have a plan and you know what your goals are and what you're wanting to achieve, I think it's very, very important that the club has built their trust and put their trust into Alex and to be able to deliver what he wants to deliver this season. What does success look for like for them? We've said that they can make finals. How far can they actually go? I think it's a bit like with some of the other teams. We said it comes down to the big games. Everyone knows when you... Perth were hard done by and the fact that they had no home games last year. The big thing for them is everyone hates travelling to Perth. It's a long haul flight. The sorry, Western Australians, but yeah, yeah sorry guys. I have to say, I, have to say, I love it over there. To Perth now is three days for us in the Asian women. Uh, it's different. When we first started the red eye. Was, yeah, it was a red eye home. It was a twenty four hour trip. You yep. get in, you at like midnight, you sleep, you get up, play the game, and fly home. Which yep. I tell you was one of the hardest things I've ever done as a player. So oh. these days they've got it over three it's days. It's a lot kinder. Yeah. Hey? Yep. <laughs> no, and look, for me, you know, it's it's that that mentality of they can they can get a lot of points playing at home this year. And as you know, they've done playing away. So for me, I think they've got the best of both worlds. They've they've got one over every team, whether it's home or away, they know they can do it. So realistically, I really see them pushing into that four and really producing some players who are going to stand out this year. 
yeah, I think, look, anything other than making the final series will be a disappointment for them. Um, I think, you know, this year is, a, is the year for them to really push for it. Um, they've got the team to be able to do it, and I look forward to watching them throughout the season.